What assumptions are you making on the future of this bill for your business? Well, I think, you know, we, until it's passed, we continue to uh, uh, have the rates in that deal uh, with the, as if we don't have the CSRs. But we are at the same time putting in place all the systems necessary that if they do have the CSRs and we can reduce the rates back down, that uh, we'll apply the appropriate refunds back to the uh, states or the federal government as appropriate. Michael, how much does this period of uncertainty weigh on your business? The president has terminated these uh, immediately. He's kicked the can over to the Congress to figure this to figure this out. What does this period of uncertainty mean for you and your business? Well, it just says really, I've, I've always maintained we do business as usual. And you know, we're putting in place call centers and uh, things of that nature should help people get enrolled. Uh, because we're not going to count on uh, necessarily this being passed in time, the incremental funds for navigators and that. So what it means is we just have to do more contingency planning, which is what we're doing. Will you be reevaluating your decision to participate in Obamacare exchanges? No. We, we, we are committed to helping the states uh, as we said we would. Uh, we have premium subsidies that... Uh, will uh, be in place to help the uh, most vulnerable citizens. Uh, it's going to cost us more by doing it that way, not us, but the, the country. Uh, the Congressional Budget Office says it's going to cost uh, 20, $200 million over um, 10 years. So that's $20, million, $20 billion a year versus the $7 billion the CSRs were costing. So, But uh, we're, we're planning to... Um, do it either way.